we got to get the X Max on the bench. There's something I want to look at, but first, we got a lot of stuff to open up. Mm. Ah, it's the good stuff. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. That's right. Uh, there's something I want to look at on the X Max, but first, we got some stuff to open up. So let's dig into this. We got gears. These have been back order for a while, but I got them. This is for the AK-787. Hill RC. He's a fellow vet. He uh, he does a lot of aviation stuff on his channel, so if you're interested in flying, he does some pretty cool stuff. So check out. He sent me a metal uh, thing for the plane. And got a letter here. It's kind of private, so thank you, Tug. Appreciate all that. Landing gear. Cowling. Landing gear. Uh, motor cowling something or other. Spinner. And oh, some extra lights. Parts for my FMS Cessna that I technically no longer have. FMS Explorer's bounty. I have to open that separate. Extra prop. Extra prop. Look at the size of these things. They're massive. Hey, look at that, another spinner for a plane I don't have. All right, before I continue, uh, I had a problem with that plane. It went into reverse thrust. On its own, it wasn't connected. I had so many people chime in about, oh, that's a gimmick, you don't need it. You know, this is the problem with the hobby. It's because if somebody else doesn't use something, like if they don't use AVC or TQI, some kind of gyro, you shouldn't use it. If they don't use reverse thrust, you. I didn't have reverse thrust set up. I didn't have it programmed into my receiver. In mid-flight, it, it did it. Uh, the plane came down, so uh, some back and forth with FMS. At first, they were just going to send me a, an ESC, and we went back and forth. So I just sent on the plane. They're going to be sending me a whole new plane to resolve this issue. So I'm going to keep the parts. <laughs> so I should have the plane again soon. Rocket ship wadding. Ah, look at that, a rocket. Oh. Thanks, FedEx, for smashing the crap out of us. Look at this. That's FedEx. These are rockets, man. Something I've been wanting to do since I was a kid, and I'm like, let's get it done. Let's do it. You can't have rockets without rocket motors. So, yeah, check it out. There's Bounty. This is a free gift that you get when you order so much stuff. And I can't say no to free, what the hell. So a bicycle. I almost didn't open this because I thought I was going to send all this stuff back if they weren't going to send me a plane. Oh, look at that. It actually... <laughs> so... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of... Hey, it looks like my Yeti. It's the same, kind of the same color. It's a little darker, but... Well, hey, man, it was free. Then, uh... How do I look? <laughs> I don't know what... Glue sticks! Very cheap RC car. Uh, I have something I want to do, and it's probably going to destroy the car in the process. I don't know. Just something I want to mess around with. Overpowering something. So. I went on Amazon and got the about cheapest car I could find. Charger, two AA batteries, one lithium pack, oh, NICAD, NICAD pack, one cheapy remote, one basic cheapy car. So, this is like 20 bucks. If you want, I'll, I'll throw it in my Amazon store if anybody's interested in this thing for whatever reason. <laughs> There's nothing to see here. What was even the point? What was even the point of all that? The gearbox is right there. We have friction dampers. Like I said, I'm probably going to end up just destroying this thing, so I don't really care. Well, nothing else. I think I can use... No, that's a NICAD. I don't think I want to use that. I was thinking for my Dumbo radio. Ooh, it's hot in here. Oh, yeah. Non-proportional steering. Two-wheel drive. Oh, 
<laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> we're gonna save this thing for another day. What is this trim? They actually have some trim. Yeah, we're gonna save this thing for another day. I have something pretty funny I have planned. Look at the way this thing is, the back end don't even want to like really do anything. Hey, 20 bucks. But like I said, I'm probably gonna I can destroy it. Ah, it's, it's almost too hot to be drinking that in here. And look, even though I, I know I designed this bench to fit the bigger 8S stuff, oh, I'm having a problem here. X Max. I want to try replacing this. Let me see here. If we, see how we turn? And it's just really not a lot there. So, and this thing is taking forever to turn. And I hate saying that because some of these are going to be like end points. Set your end points. Ah. Why do people seem to think that that is like the cure all for everything and act like people don't know what endpoints? I'm telling you, man, if somebody's doing YouTube and they're showing you how to fix cars, they probably even have a video on setting endpoints. So, guys, please stop with the endpoint thing. I, I, I get it. Maybe it sound like that's the one thing you know about RC car, so you want to throw it out there when you can. You're just dying to. But dude, everybody knows. I'm telling you, I've had the thing two years and the steering's getting a bit sloppy. I was out there today and it was taking forever to turn this thing around. And I could just literally turn this thing without much effort at all. So if they even know that's a problem, so they give you this enhanced spring to put in here. But unfortunately, I think this is quite the chore to get into here. I'm not sure if I can get this piece out around this, but we'll try. It can be done. Look at this. Man, I, I've been stressing about this thing for no reason. Factory spring, that's the heavy duty one. You can see it's a little bit longer. It looks like the coils are a little tighter. Or I mean a little wider maybe. Yeah, that's a that's some good pressure there. So, okay, so the I, like I said, I took it out today, and you know it was just <sighs> taking forever to turn around. All right, so like I was saying, I, was, I took this thing out today, and you know it was just I noticed even sitting still, I turned the servo, and the wheels wouldn't even move. You could just hear the servo moving, and then you know it was just taking forever to turn around, just like the wheels just weren't turning. So. I'm gonna give this an option because I have the spring. Ooh, wow, that's not, that's actually bending the entire, uh, that's not good. That's too much pressure. That's when you start breaking stuff. Um, it's either that or I was just looking, Ross Schiffer and just posted a video about his perfect pass servo for the X-Max. I said the one with the X-Max, you can't adjust the, BEC voltage so you're stuck at like six volts which generally tends to make servos weak and slow which I know you really don't need anything super fast for this thing but uh, strong would be nice look at that man now it's just I'm bending this arm I'm gonna keep moving the servo I need to get that fixed before I put this thing on because you can't adjust it afterwards. Uh, so I figure I'll try this. This is a cheap route. If not, I'm going to get one of those perfect pass servos. I really, I know it's good stuff, but damn, it's expensive. Holy crap. I think with tax and everything, it's going to be like 180 bucks. I haven't spent that much on, on some cars. <laughs> spend that much on a servo which granted I've spent about like a hundred bucks on the uh, the one servo the X-Max servo there it is it's moving a little bit alright so I'm probably just gonna tighten this 
just a wee little bit more and we're gonna let it roll all right I'm gonna button this thing back up and then when it's daylight we'll meet you outside and we're gonna do a little test drive and see if uh, this helped all right out here with the x-max and already I can see a big difference in the uh, the turning you know really see at slow speed it seems kind of fast but let's see See, at speed, it just takes uh, forever to... See, it just like, it doesn't want to turn. Man, that's a lot of money, but... I think I might just be getting that raw Schifrin servo. Cause I know like the Outcast and the uh, other one don't, the Creighton don't take this much space to turn. Before it don't even tell me endpoints. Cause look when it's slow, look at, it's definitely better with the stronger spring, but it's just such a, it's a weak servo. Well, actually it's not doing bad there. Yesterday I couldn't get it to turn at all on the grass. Yeah, see there? It won't even... It won't turn that way at all. See, so it... It looks to me like when I accelerate in the, like maybe the tires are straightening out a little bit. I just don't think the servo's got the strength to actually keep the tires turned. I think it's the problem when it's actually going. It, Cause look, when at speed, it just, yeah, so, man, that's a lot of dang money. <laughs> I said, I think he charges like 160 or so. And then with shipping and tax, gonna bring it to like 180 but I will say the spring definitely made a difference at least at slow speed maybe I put the servo in and it won't make any difference maybe this thing will still just be a tank and at speed need a football field to turn <laughs> I mean that's like full lock And that's not even full speed. Jeez. I mean, your best bet is just to get on and off the throttle there and just kind of help bring it around. Like here, go like that, hit the brake a little bit. Oh man, you know, it's still a cool RC. And I'm pretty sure, you know, like I've had this two years now. Pretty sure that that servo's probably done its time. I don't know. It's probably just gotten weak at this point because I don't remember this thing ever taking this much space to turn around. <laughs> well, you know, it was worth a shot, and that was kind of the whole point of the video. We put the spring in. Doesn't seem to have. Uh, it made a small improvement. I said this isn't a new RC either. It's like I said, two years. So, all right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this uh, on the bench, watching the X Max run here for a minute. I don't want to make this video too long of me just out here running because I just did the two-year review. So we kind of got maybe a lot of X Max content, but maybe not. Maybe we need some more. All right, everyone. Appreciate the support. Links down below. Like I said, if you shop Amazon, those of you that do, I greatly appreciate it. All you have to do is set my homepage to L to the W as your homepage when you click on Amazon. 
and then whenever you go there just do your normal shopping i get commission for getting you there and it, it helps it adds zero to your cost i wouldn't even recommend it if it did all right there's also like uh if you're gonna buy an rc car i got affiliate links with the uh, a main and tower so i appreciate everyone i am uh planning quite the trip coming up i'm still uh trying to confirm a couple of things but if everything works out i think this is something you guys are really 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 gonna enjoy oh no x max down <laughs> all right everyone appreciate the support links down below because i have you discount codes as well trying to save you some money all right so check it out thanks for watching we'll see you on next one